Hey, hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks Beer Reviews. This is Scott White recording in once again with another great beer. And by what I say about great beer is this, this is one of my holiday favorites. And what I mean about holiday favorites is that I'm going back almost a full year. Maybe, mm, I want to say maybe about uh, 10, 11 months. Um, I finally got a hold of another one of the bottles of uh, one of my favorite beers, but they only come out around the, um, the snowy months. Um, and with that said, uh, I'm going to introduce to you a wonderful, wonderful beer. Uh, how could I say this? I, I know we're just now getting into the seasons with the, the pumpkin ales and all this, but... <sighs> I just, I can't wait for this, man. Bam. Sam Adams Merry Mischief Gingerbread Stout. I do not have a review on this. Got a hold of a bottle and wanted to do it ASAP. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this glass right here. Um, for the people that haven't had it, um, this is just a sheer joy. If you like stouts, if you like gingerbread um, the 10 to 1 you're going to love this beer look at that beautiful I'll place this go ahead and move this up over here so you guys can see this now this comes in at 9% alcohol by volume. This is a, um, I almost want to say that this is almost kind of in between a regular stout and a milk stout. Um, this right here as a stout, you're going to get big roasty malts. You're going, you should pick out some like coffee notes, some chocolate notes. Um, but being that it's a spiced holiday beer, um, you're definitely, definitely going to get out uh, uh, cinnamon, uh, ginger, nutmeg. You might find a little bit of a, a hint of clove in there, maybe. Um, you're going to get um, just those big spices, man. If you're going to sit back and enjoy this beer, specifically think of a gingerbread cookie. Now, look at that head. That head is nice, frothy, thick, kind of like a... Uh, a khaki color per se. Um, beer almost jet black. I mean, if you look down here towards the bottom of the rim, you may find uh, like a hues of garnet or red, um, maybe some browns. You definitely get catching up a, a little bit of a brown note to it. Um, head on the top, very, very, you know, pillowy, you know, fluffy. Um, I'm going to get into a nose of this because I'm anxious to. Mm. Lovely. Definitely, definitely picking up some of that cinnamon and ginger. Um, just a hint of nutmeg. Um, big roasted coffee notes. Um, Definitely getting that stoutness. Well, here's to it. Close. Oh, love it. Definitely, it's almost like drinking a gingerbread cookie. Um, it, it reminds you of a. Uh, my uh, mother-in-law actually makes these little, like, uh, gingerbread cookies uh, that have, uh, like, a little bit of molasses in them. It, it paired very, very well with this when I had it last year. Um, hopefully, I can um, pair it again with it again this year. The only difference is, is that I've already seen that somewhere along the line, somebody's changing the label. That will stay the same. This will stay the same. Alcohol by volume is going to stay the same. This right here 
is getting changed. Um, it will now be considered Merry Maker. I don't know why. I like the label the way it is. I like the name the way it is. Um, but somewhere, somebody along the line said evidently this mischief was just not a, uh, a, a very good name for it. I love it. I love the name for it. I love the beer. They did create a, a wonderful, wonderful beer. Um, and just to give you a little bit of the highlights of this beer, um, I, I definitely have pulled up a, a thing for this. Uh, I wanted to do this beer right. Um, for those who actually you know, come to see if I can get any of these uh, tasting notes right or come to see how this beer is going to react. Mm. Oh, I love it. A big hearty mouthfeel to it as well. This is an aged bottle, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that the alcohol is jacked up a little bit. Um, I, I would probably say maybe around 9.5 to 10%. Um, but do go out and get it this year if you can get a chance to. Um, it's only 25 IBUs, supposedly. I don't know. I'm not a calorie expert. I don't know if, how this is working out on the uh, Sam's website, but they say that there's only 300 calories per serving. Um, this is made with uh, East Kent Goldings and Fuggles. Um, they tend to use the Fuggles a lot during the holidays, especially in their um, holiday spice beers. Um, it gives a big, big earthiness to it. Um, also made with Sam Adams Two Row Pale Malt Blend. Um, it's got a little bit of wheat in here, which you know that's why it, it kind of like was like bam, okay, smoothness. It, it tends to you know think you know how sweet it is. That's why I went towards the um, you know a, a spiced milk stout kind of thing. Um, I've had a couple other stouts that were have wheat in them, very very well done. Um, which this is just a proof of that. Uh, they say special bee hauls roasted barley and flaked oats. So that's this is where it's getting all its smoothness from. Um, it does not say anything about a clove, but you can almost get a little bit of that. But I will go ahead and say very 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 good beer go ahead and get it if you can I'm going to sit there if I have to give a, a rating for this a plus a plus off the bat um, I don't know if there will ever be another um, gingerbread stout quite like this um, I think Sam's hit it right on the head with this one whether or not they change the name, leave it the same, I don't care. I will still be getting it. Go out, find it, get it. Try a bottle aged. Try one fresh. Definitely try it fresh. Um, uh, I, I'm getting really toned down um, spice notes, which that's not such a bad thing. Um, but when it's fresh, it, it's just bam, gingerbread stout, gingerbread cookie right in your mouth as a liquid form. Oh, it's so good. Um, I'm going to get up out of here. I've rambled on too much. This, Beer Geeks Beer Review signing out, man. Prost, cheers. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you've had this. Let me know what you think about it. Um, this is the um, 2012 bottle. 2013 should be coming out in, I want to say, you know, late October, mid-November. With that said, peace, deuce, do not drink and drive.